Alright everyone, how's it going? This is Rexford here, and I'm back yet again with another gaming tutorial, and uh, first of all, before I begin the tutorial, I just want to say that I apologize uh, for not making a video for a while. I know it's been about like four days or something since uh, I made my last video, and things have just been coming up after another, and uh, one after another, whatever, and uh, I just haven't really had time to make a video, sadly, and you know, I just keep thinking that everything's going to settle down, but for some reason, like, something new always is just popping up, and uh, I don't know if it's just because, like, the school year is, like, kind of almost ending or something, I don't know, uh, but something like that, and uh, for the last three days, I've actually had um, testing um, at my school, so I've had to kind of do that, but uh, anyway, I finally had some time today, so I want to go ahead and make a tutorial before it gets too late, um, so yeah, anyway, today I'm going to show you guys how to create uh, a ladder system in your Game Maker games, and it's really simple to do, actually, and, um, you know, it hardly takes any effort, at, or effort, rather, at all, so as you can see, we only have three objects here that we're going to need, as well as one background, and we just need a little bit of code, but it will be in the description box, so don't worry about that. Alright, so I've obviously already made everything out for the sake of time in this video, um, so yeah, I guess we'll go ahead and with that, get on with the tutorial. So, the first thing you want to have uh, for this tutorial is obviously a player, and um, basically what we're going to do is we're going to make it so your player is going to be able to climb uh, things like ladders, ropes, whatever the heck you want and um, this is going to be really easy to do and we're only going to use one object to do it so you're going to need obviously a player um, your object that you're going to put over your um, ladder or rope or whatever you want um, which I have here which is a 32 by 32 um, if your rope or ladder oh, <laughs> if your rope or ladder or whatever is smaller you might want to adjust that accordingly Alright, and the next thing you want to have is obviously, um, just for this tutorial purpose, um, I have some ground here. Um, you're probably going to want to have that too, though, so your player doesn't end up falling through the floor or anything like that. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and I guess start off with the player first. So, what you want in your player is, if you already have a player, you want to make sure that you have um, gravity. And this is just a simple gravity system I have set up for my player. Um, I guess I'll go ahead and show you guys, just in case you want to copy it down. You don't really have to, but um, I guess just in case. Um, so after you have your gravity um, in your step event, what you want to do is you want to go ahead and go to the control tab, click and drag over some code. Alright, and this is what's going to make the ladder happen. And I'm going to have this code in the description box, and if not, it's going to be in a paste bin, because sometimes the uh, codes I put in the description box won't necessarily work in YouTube's description. Um, so it might be in a paste bin, um, but if it is, I'll put the link to that. Um, but anyway, what this is basically saying is that if your player is on top of the ladder, or basically just meeting with the ladder um, object that we're going to have, um, basically it's going to kind of adjust your gravity and speed um, accordingly and um, it's going to basically say that if you press up while you're colliding with it your player is going to climb up and if you press down you're going to go ahead and climb down and of course if you release the two you're just going to stop where you are and uh, stuff like that and if you want to change the speed at uh, how fast your uh, character is climbing you can go ahead and adjust this right here to say something like three or two um, but for now I'm going to go ahead and keep it at four but just in case you wanted to uh, know that um, that's where you would adjust that Alright, and after that you want to go ahead and um, obviously these things right here are just um, collisions with my ground, simple, you don't really need a, well I guess you could have this, well you most likely already do have it anyway, but um, <laughs> obviously um, you're going to want to have something like this. Uh, set up. And then I just have my left and right um, like movement system. Pretty simple. Um, you know, I don't know why I'm showing you guys again, because you guys probably already have something like this already set up, but you know, just in case. Alright, and that's all we need in the player. So the main thing we basically need is just this piece of code right here in the step event. Alright, make sure you already have gravity set up as well. Um, separate gravity from, you know, separate from this code. Of course you could place it in this code, but yeah. That is up to you. Now the next thing you want to have is a, um, I guess we'll go ahead and go to the background really quick. Um, you want to just have a, make a background of, um, obviously I already have one, but you want to go ahead and make a background of your ladder or rope or whatever in here. And I just have a simple little ladder looking thing, um, that my character is going to climb. Um, so yeah, that is that. And what you want to do next is create another object and name it obj underscore ladder. Of course you could name this uh, whatever you want later, but then you're going to have to go back into this code and change the names um, here as well. So just a little heads up there. And what you're going to want to do here is obviously there's nothing in here 
<clears throat> right now so excuse me um, what you're going to want to do is just go ahead and choose the sprite that you made for it earlier and just hit ok that's all you want to do and this is just my ground object here so don't pay attention to that and that's pretty much it all you want to do is um, I guess in the room the last thing you want to do is you want to go ahead and see why is oh that's why alright so as you can see here um, you want to go ahead and put your ladder or rope pieces down or whatever the heck you have and once you do that you want to overlay it with your ladder object and one thing I actually forgot to mention is oh, delete that there we go is in your ladder object you want to go ahead and uncheck visible so basically you don't see the um, ladder object all you see is the background so it's just gonna look like this when you run the game alright so now let me go ahead and show you guys the end result of this tutorial so just a minute here while I adjust the parameters of my recording space Alright everyone, as you can see, we are back with our little player here who moves left and right, obviously. And when you collide with the ladder and press the up key on your keyboard, you'll notice that he climbs up the ladder. And you can hold it down or you can just like press it simultaneously, I guess. Um, and when you release both the left or the right, or <coughs> excuse me, the up and the down arrow, oh, geez, um, your character basically just kind of stops where he is and... You know, you can kind of just, I guess, go around, and when he just climbs off the ladder, he falls down. And when you go all the way up on top of the ladder, he is just kind of on top of the ladder. <laughs> and you can kind of move around and cool stuff like that. So anyway, guys, that is a simple tutorial on how to create or implement climbing um, in your Game Maker games. And, uh, I mean, that's pretty much all there is to it. It's that simple, and, um, you know, that's just the system I use. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> anyway guys uh, sorry I've been a little out of it in this video or if I seem a little out of it um, I'm a bit tired my throat's been giving me a little bit of trouble recently so um, I guess there's that but uh, anyway guys this has been Rex for you feel free to comment rate subscribe to this video whatever and um, I will see you guys next video I guess um, which hopefully will be pretty soon um, but we'll see alright so see you guys then